So my planners typically include a whole collection of bonus pages and I sometimes get questions on how to use them in GoodNotes 5 and so I thought a quick video would probably be the easiest way to demonstrate that. So really the reason that I include such an extended um, collection of bonus pages with my planners is because we don't have a great option for adding pages in, adding layouts in um, to a planner and keeping hyperlinks intact. So when, when I say that, I mean, you can see all of kind of the menu icons um, along the planner. This is really the value of investing in a planner that's been created and designed in a way that you want to use GoodNotes is um, the accessibility of all of the tabs and how that allows you to jump um, within the planner and keep every detail you need organized within a single notebook in GoodNotes. And so when you start planning, you know, in the beginning of the year, I know it can be difficult to know exactly how you want to use GoodNotes throughout the year. Um, and so the goal of the template libraries that I include is to allow you to really cover all of the details um, that you might need to plan out within this planner and keep kind of the hyperlinks intact. So I explain all of that to say uh, there's no reason that you can't insert another page um, into your planner. At any time, you could hit this plus button and you could add, let's just grab a, a general um, templates page here to show you. You could grab like any GoodNotes template page and you could just add it right in. And then you can see I added that page directly after my template page um, and it's right here within my planner. And so whether I'm using a GoodNotes template or some other PDF, I could add in here. Um, but what's happening now, you can see I don't have any of those hyperlinks that I had on the other pages of the planner. And so all I'd have to do is swipe back and I could use those hyperlinks again. So it's definitely possible to import new layouts. You do just use, lose the hyperlinks. Um, and that's why having these bonus pages is nice because any of these pages that you choose to duplicate, you will still have the hyperlinks um, and it'll just feel really streamlined with the rest of the planner. So if there are other layouts that you really love, um, I always appreciate requests. I like to build them in uh, to upcoming planners or, you know, you can always import them and then just, you know, swipe back to a general planner page um, to continue navigating through. So I'm going to show you the process of just kind of duplicating a page. So let's jump into the lined notes page. And I'm here on the page that I want to use, uh, navigated there from that templates library page, and I'm just going to hit the three dots in the top here and copy this page. This process became so much easier in GoodNotes 5 um, than it was in, in GoodNotes 4. So I copied, the, I went to the page I wanted and I copied it. Now I'm going to go to the point in the planner that I want to insert that page. Um, so for this, what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to um, designate this section as class notes. So let's go ahead and add that in. And I can adjust the, the size and all of that, but let's just start here. And so then I'm going to, um, I can't leave this not centered. <laughs> so I'm going to center this and then I'm going to jump over to my section divider because again, how sections work is um, they're basically just bookmarking a point in the planner. And so I know that I designated this blue section as my class notes section. And so then I want to click this tiny uh, gray down uh, arrow and I'm going to add the page after. You can see I could also add before. 
and I'm going to paste the page. And so there it is right after my section divider. Um, and another nice thing you can do if you're, say you're building out like this class note section, what I'd probably do is just like hit duplicate several times just to keep kind of duplicating it and making it really easy. So if you're ever building out a section that's going to use the same page over and over again, go ahead and do this. Um, and it's a few less clicks than doing it the other way. So then I'm gonna close. Let me make sure I'm back where I want to be. Yep. So I'm right within this. And so um, just to kind of help you understand then how the sections work, say I was on any other page of the planner, I hit this blue button right here, which is my section divider page. I'm on my section divider and I just sweep over and there I am to all the class notes that I added in.